Hi, this is Daylene Barton with naturalfertilityinfo.com and this video is for those of you out there who have heavy menstrual bleeding. So the average woman with a normal menstrual cycle sheds about two to three tablespoons of blood um, during their entire period. Now that doesn't seem like very much, um, but women who have heavy blood loss um, usually shed five and a half or more tablespoons of blood during their entire period. And this might go on for days. Um, typically it might last for seven to ten days or longer. Um, there it might be included heavy blood clotting as well. You might just have one of those. Um, if you've talked to your doctor and you've ruled out other reasons that you may have heavy bleeding such as endometriosis or ovarian cysts, um, and you know this is just part of your normal cycle, but you really don't know what to do, there are some effective, easy, um, pretty cheap options out there to work towards getting that under control. So the first thing is, is a product at our natural fertility shop called Slow Flow, and we just introduced this in the last year. Um, it combines astringent herbs, uterine tonic herbs, and vital nutrients and minerals um, for heavy bleeding times. So what astringent herbs do is they actually vasoconstrict the tissues of the uterus and other tissues in the body to um, prevent hemorrhaging and slow blood loss. So some of those herbs are ginger root, cranesbill root, periwinkle, yarrow, life root, and shepherd's burrs. Um, it also has some um, vitamins and minerals for when you are losing a lot of blood um, to keep up those iron levels. So this is an easy um, herbal remedy that you know comes in a bottle that you can keep in your purse and you take it a few times a day and it's really going to help you to stop that bleeding or slow it down so that you can have a normal menstrual cycle. I know that some of you have written in and you're very concerned because you feel like you can't even go to work some days because you're bleeding through your you know sanitary pads and your clothing and that's very embarrassing so this is an effective option for you that you might want to look into again that was called slow flow and you can find it at our natural fertility shop another easy thing to do is to make a tea at home and you can go online um, and find these herbs or you can go to your local health food store. Most health food stores have an herbal section and ask them to help you pick out these loose leaf herbs. And they are shepherd's purse. So you'd want to combine two parts shepherd's purse, two parts yarrow flower, um, one part nettles, which is the leaf, and a half a part hibiscus um, flower. So, the two main ingredients, which are the shepherd's purse and the yarrow, are very astringent and very good at um, reducing bleeding. And then the nettles is very high in iron and has a lot of um, vitamins and minerals, mainly iron, which is key when you are having heavy blood loss. If you're losing a lot of blood every single month, there's a possibility that you um, could be anemic. If you're feeling fatigued and tired all the time and this is combined with heavy menstrual bleeding, there is a possibility that you may need to supplement with iron. So the nettles in that tea is going to be great. Um, and then the hibiscus really helps to um, bring out a good flavor. It's got a sweet tart flavor. And hibiscus is also very high in vitamin C. And vitamin C is essential for iron absorption within the body. So this blend is really easy to make and you're just going to drink two to three cups of it a day. Um, you're just going to steep it for 15 to 30 minutes. You could steep it longer if you want, but if you don't have time, then that's ideal. And you're going to drink those two to three cups a day. You could make a quart jar of it in the morning and take it with you wherever you're going so that you're sure that you're getting those three cups a day. Um, and that's going to help um, slow the bleeding down as well. Now the slow flow in the tea, you're only going to want to do during those heavy bleeding times. You may also want to consider taking a whole food iron supplement. A whole food iron supplement is going to be 100% absorbable and it's going to be non-constipating. 
We sell a wonderful one called Blood Builder at our natural fertility shop. Um, and this leads us to why you, you may actually have heavy menstrual bleeding. Heavy menstrual bleeding, also known as menorrhagia, is contributed to hormonal imbalance between your progesterone and your estrogen levels. So some effective options that you may want to learn about um, would be first um, would be Vitex. Now Vitex supports the hormonal feedback loop and it promotes um, regular ovulation. Um, there was a recent study that showed 67% of women who had menorrhagia had a reduction in bleeding and a normalization of their menstrual cycle saw wonderful improvements within two to three months of using this herb. And that's just great results. Um, so I would highly recommend learning more about the herb Vitex and to see if it's right for you. Um, another one would be the superfood maca. Maca nourishes the endocrine system um, and promotes hormonal balance through that system. Um, DIM. DIM promotes healthy estrogen metabolism. So it's going to remove excess bad estrogens from the body so that the good ones that our body is producing can um, do its, their job effectively and properly. And then progesterone cream. Um, you may want to talk to your doctor and get your progesterone levels tested first, but low progesterone has been contributed to heavy bleeding times. So you may want to consider learning more about supplementing with a progesterone cream to boost those progesterone levels. So a plan for the month would be if you have heavy menstrual bleeding and you know you have some hormonal imbalance would be, you know, to take the Vitex and the maca all throughout the month. If you're trying to actively conceive, you would want to only take the Vitex from um, after your period up to ovulation and not after in case you became pregnant. And then you could also take the DIM and you would take that all month long as well except for after ovulation if you're trying to conceive as well. And then you would use the progesterone cream after ovulation up to your period. And then during your period, you could take slow flow and drink the tea. And then for the entire month, you would also want to probably take an iron supplement. So this would just be a general simple guide, um, something that you may want to look into if you've been diagnosed with menorrhagia or if you have a heavy bleeding time. I hope this helps you to understand heavy bleeding more. And if you have any questions, please feel free to post them to this video. Have a wonderful day.